the bald cypress is an eastern U.S. tree. It has needles. It makes cones. It does pretty much everything that you think of a conifer tree doing, except it loses its leaves in the fall. That's right. It's going to turn a nice rusty orange color and lose all of these leaves and then grow them back in the spring. That's right. This is a water loving tree, which is why we've planted it here in this stormwater sway along the Spicker River. Well, we planted this lovely baby in 2018, this Don Redwood. And you can see it's just doing fantastic here. We planted it in a water retention area so that it would always have a really nice moist environment, very hydrated soil to grow in. Mm. Tennis, can you tell us a little bit about how this Don Redwood is different than the one we just looked at, the bald cypress? Thank you, Eric. Yeah, there are a couple of things that you, you should be able to notice. Uh, first of all, this has more of a, a pyramid shape to it as it grows older. It's going to have a, a more well-defined pyramid shape to it. Um, the leaves as they come off the branches are a little denser and they're a little more organized. They tend to be opposite each other. And if you look at these compound needles, they're actually larger, though they're very soft and fan-like, but they're opposite needles. In other words, when the, needle, the needles come off of the central stem, they're directly opposite each other, not alternating like with the, um, the taxodium. So th that's the fastest way. In fact, needles are the easy, easiest way to identify most conifers because every conifer has its own distinct set of needles. And here, if you look at these larger needles, they're a little more rounded and they're opposite. You know that you're looking at a John Redwood. You've got a meta sequoia there. And uh, this is also a tree that you can obtain from green streets, the green and gateway cities. And there are several of these. We have a bunch of these planted on the greenway. Uh, we have some taxodium on the south common too. Uh, and you can find these trees everywhere in Lawrence and they really thrive in this urban environment. And thanks to our program and some people's yards. Absolutely. And everyone who, who's gotten either a, a bald cypress or John Redwood uh, has really loved the tree and they're doing very well. So, and this one's doing fantastic. It's a real champ. So if you want to learn more about how to get a bald cypress or John Redwood or any of the other 70 plus trees that we have to choose from through Green Streets, follow the link in this post or give us a call at Groundwork Lawrence. For Groundwork Lawrence and the Green Streets program, I'm Tennis. I'm Eric. And, and we're, we're the, the Tree, tree Guys. guys.